Michael? Michael, where are you? Michael, breakfast is on the table and it's 9 a.m. Wake up. Michael, James, Arthur, don't make me come upstairs. I am not inside the mood. Michael, what are you still doing inside your bed? It's 9 a.m. I thought I told you to wake up two hours ago. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's 6 a.m. Oh my God, Michael, are you being serious right now? Does it look like it's 6 a.m.? The clock says 9 a.m. Are you crazy? Help. I don't know. That's it. I am fed up with you playing games, Michael. Get up right now. I'm calling the school telling them you're going to be late. For God's sakes, I have to take your sister and your brother to nursery. We're going to be late. Up. Uh, can I have some food? You want breakfast, Michael? You can't eat breakfast. You're too late. Get your clothes on and hurry to school. You have an exam today, Michael. Uh, have an exam? What? Oh my God. Listen. I'm gonna call this school, tell them that you fell over or something because this is insane, Michael. How do you expect to pass your exams if you're inside your bed? But it's 6 a.m. Look. Michael, that says 9 a.m. Oh my God. Why are you so stupid? Oh my God. Oh no. Everyone off the bus. Time for school. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, this is gonna be so fun. Have you guys revised for the maths exam? Of course I have. Um, no. <laughs> Hello, kitty. How are you? <gasps> da da, good kitty. Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. What are you doing so far away from your home? <laughs> Oh my god, what is that creepazoid doing? Does he think that's a cat? Oh my god, <laughs> what an idiot. Hello kitty. <laughs> uh, kitty? Oh my god, hey you, get away from that dog. He's rabid, he has all sorts of diseases. You're gonna catch something, stay away from him. Who are you? Oh my god, that's not a cat, that's a dog. Get away from it. <laughs> Oh no, it's gonna kill me. What an idiot, I warned you. How stupid can you be? That's obviously a dog. Oh my God, this world is going to ruins. I'm sorry, kitty. Kitty, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, 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 look who it is. Michael, how nice of you to join us. Why are you so late to the classroom? I got attacked by a cat. He was so big. Oh my God. You got attacked by a kitty cat? I have never heard anything like that in my whole entire life. Are you trying to skip the exam, boy? I know you ain't. Sit down right now. You have to do the test. I don't want to do the test. I'm too scared. Excuse me. Everyone has to do the test. Now sit down. What a stupid boy. He's so stupid, isn't he? Don't talk to him like that. Just because he's stupid doesn't mean you have to bully him. But he is quite stupid. I mean, <laughs> why is he wearing a paper hat? <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's so stupid. Hey, stop bullying me. Now, now. The test is starting in five minutes. Three, two, one. Everyone go. The test has commenced. Please get your pen and paper and start the test. Okay, everyone, time's up. The test is completed. How did y'all do? Oh, the test was so easy, miss. Honestly, could have done it with my eyes closed. Shut up, Sabrika. It wasn't that easy. Stop being Miss Smarty Pants. Now, now, classroom, I have your test results now. Everyone will get their results individually, so I don't want anyone to be bullied. First person to get their results is Michael. Please come to the front of the classroom. Oh my goodness, Michael. I am so sorry, but you got an F on your test. How can you be so stupid? I got an F? How? No, that could be right. Michael, in all my 30 years of teaching at this school, I have never seen anyone get two plus two wrong. I mean, 
I think you need help, boy. I think you need professional help. Two plus two, I got that answer right, I promise you. If you really got two plus two right, okay then, what is two plus two? Um, two plus two equals, well, one plus one is one, so two plus two is two. Oh my goodness, Michael, I am so sorry, but there is no helping you, boy. You are just beyond help. I'm going to call your mother. You need to go to see a professional. I can't help you. I'm just going to build my hat into a boat and go far, far away from here. I can't do it anymore. I think that's a good idea. Why don't you turn your paper hat into a boat and sail the seas? And maybe you can find some hope in the seas. I don't know. And maybe I will. Maybe I will. I know, the choir practice was insane. Did you see me hit that high note? I was like, oh, I know. <laughs> that was so funny. I don't want to go to choir again. Courtney, I'll be quiet. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to talk to um, Melissa. Okay, bye, Stephanie. <laughs> Oh no, what's wrong with Melissa? Melissa, can you hear me? <laughs> oh no, I think she's stressed. Melissa, what's wrong? Why are you crying? It's nearly 10 p.m. What are you still doing at school? <laughs> oh my God, I'm so happy you're here. I'm so stressed out. I have so much to do and the exams are tomorrow. I can't do it. Oh my God, Melissa. You're gonna overwork yourself. I've been revising for 10 hours straight and I don't think it's enough. I have to get, I have to get over 90%. Otherwise, I'm ruined. Oh my God, Melissa, you're like the smartest person I know. Of course you're gonna get over 90%. Don't sweat it. You're so good at maths. Don't worry. Are you sure? I'm like freaking out right now. Oh. I'll walk you home and then you can get some good sleep because you don't want to be revising all night. You won't be able to get good sleep and you'll wake up so tired and then you might put in the wrong answer on something that you know you know. But since you're so tired, you won't even know you put in the wrong answer. Okay, I think you're right. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to pack all these books up and go home and sleep. I've been working too hard. That's right. Come on. We'll go to McDonald's and get a bite to eat. We'll go to the cafe and get some salad. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, class. How's y'all doing? <laughs> Miss, I am so stressed. <sighs> Miss, I'm so stressed out. I think I'm going to fail. Now, now. Listen, there, Melissa. You are one of the smartest people I know. Don't you stress it, girl. I know you're going to do good. But what if I don't get 90%? I won't be able to go to the school I want. I'm going to be ruined. I'm going to become a bed cleaner. Now, now. You will never become a bed cleaner. Anyway, there ain't nothing wrong with cleaning bins. I like bins. But I want to become a doctor. Don't overthink it. Just calm down. Take a breather and then put in the answers to the questions on the test. Okay, everyone. Test starts in five, four, three, two, one. Right, everyone. Test is completed. Hand in all your test papers. I'll mark them individually. Miss, how did I do? How did I do? Okay, now. I want y'all to come up individually. I'll give you your exam result. Oh my god, if I didn't get over 90%, I'm ruined. Really I have some bad news for you. I'm sorry, Melissa, but you got... No. 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 I'm sorry to say, Melissa, but you got... 95%. You passed. You got the best. Oh my god, I got an A+. Plus. I'm so happy. Oh my god. <laughs> Miss, you nearly tricked me. I thought I failed. I know, I'm quite the joker. I tried to pretend that you failed, but you didn't. You got an A+. Plus. You got 95 out of 100. That's incredible, girl. You worked so hard. Thank
Thank you, miss. <laughs> Thank you. I passed. I passed, everyone. I got the best. <laughs> I hate her. She thinks she's so smart. But she is smart. She's like the smartest in the country. I want to be her. Mm, she's so smart. Hey, Stephen, are you ready? We have to steal the exam papers. Yeah, I'm ready. Go in, I'm waiting for you. Stephen, I'm not going in by myself. You're gonna come with me. I'm keeping a lookout. You go in, take the exam papers, and then we'll have the answers. Stephen, I'm not going alone. You're gonna come with me. If I get caught, you're gonna get caught too. You're not gonna get caught. Just go in. Don't worry. Anyway, you're the one that has a mask. You won't get identified by the CCTV cameras. Why don't you go? I told you, I'm on a lookout. You go. All right then, how about we both go? Who's gonna keep a lookout, you idiot? Go. Fine. But if I get caught, I'm gonna snitch on you. You snitch on me, you're dead. Okay, I was only joking, bloody hell. Well, stop joking and hurry up. The teacher will come anytime soon. It's 7 a.m. Hurry up. The test is in two hours. Okay, no one's inside there. That's good. I think I can see the exam papers. Oh, I can't wait to get all the answers. We're going to get 100%. Oh my God. Oh my God. The exam papers. Oh my God. Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, I've got the exam papers. Let's go. What does it say? What's the answers? I will tell you everything once we get out of the area. We're going to get cool. Okay, let's go. Good morning, class. How's y'all doing? I'm so happy, miss. I can't wait for this test. I've revised so much. I know pretty much all the answers, I think. How can you know all the answers? Nobody's seen the test before. I mean, I revised so much that I think I know all the answers. I revised for like a month straight. Well, that's good to hear. I'm happy that you're taking this test seriously because, Stephen, I've been worried about you. You have been getting Fs every single test for the last year now. But if you're telling me that you have revised a lot, then I believe you. I will be surprised if you don't get another F because your report card because your report card suggests that this test will be a fail for you. But let's see. <laughs> they don't even know we have all the answers. <laughs> Shut up before someone hears you. Be quiet. Okay, now the test starts in five, four, three, two, one. Right, everybody. Pans down, the test is over. How did y'all do? It was so easy. Oh my God. It was super easy, miss. Can we do it again? That's how easy it was. Oh my goodness, if it was that easy, that means everyone passed. Okay then, let me see you now. First person to get the results is Steven, come on now. Oh my goodness. Ah. Steven, you got 100 out of 100. That's never been seen before in all the history of teaching in my 30 years. I told you it was easy, miss. It was so easy, I pretty much closed my eyes and I got it all right. This can't be. That means you need to go to, you need to be placed in two years above your classmates because this, I, I'm speechless. I told you, miss, I'm smart. I just wasn't trying. All this time, I'm a genius, but no one believed me. Well, if that's the case, then I need to call the principal immediately. Wait, for what? Mrs. Angela, what is the matter? Principal, principal, you'll never guess what. What seems to be the matter? Stephen got 100 out of 100 on his test paper. 100 out of 100? I thought Stephen was mentally challenged. That's what I thought too, but it looks like he just wasn't trying all along. If this is the case, then he must be placed two years above. Wait, what? I have to go to, I have to be placed two years above? Cause I'm so smart. That is what happens with our students who are super smart. And there's no point in you being in these classrooms if the uh, if the exams are too easy for you. You need a challenge. No, I don't want to go two years above me. I want to stay here. I am sorry, but that is the school policy. Uh, we need to make room for people that uh, need to be here. Oh no, they're sending him to another classroom for all the smart people. What if that happens to me? We can't go to another classroom for the smart people. We're not smart. We had all the answers. Oh no. Right then, that's settled then. Steven, you're going to the smart classroom. Have fun. Oh no. They're going to find out that I'm stupid. 
No! Well, that is settled then. Now, let's find out what his friend got in his test paper. I wonder if he is smart too. Oh no, if they find out we cheated, we're going to be expelled. Oh no, they're going to find out.